are briefly summarized. These findings allowed us to construct a 3D model of the entire complex. The examination of dozens of tomographical images obtained from different angles using Capella Space and Umbra radars enabled a 3D reconstruction of most of the objects inside the Pyramid of Carfre. Below, we present some images from our 3D analysis. The analysis of the structures above Belzoni's chamber are intensely coloured spots which can be observed appearing in all tomographic images taken from different angles corresponding to the internal artificial structures. On the next page, it says that improvements of the signal to noise ratio revealing the internal structure of the five Zs, consisting of five horizontal levels and a sloping roof. So this is the raw pictures of the data that they used to create their model. And this is the model. So it reads the tomography with another cross-sectional line showing the presence of vertical structures. And if you think that was pretty mind-blowing, it then goes on to say, as observed in the three model below the ground level, so ground zero of the main structure, vertically aligned cylindrical structures extend for hundreds of meters beneath the Giza Plateau. Notably, eight of these structures arranged in two parallel rows from north to south descend to a depth of 648 meters, merging into two large cubic structures measuring approximately 80 meters per side. These features are illustrated in the topographical images and models presented. The paper then adds to that with some even more interesting detail, which is that the eight cylindrical structures that have been identified in the tomographical image appear as vertical wells, which are hollow inside and surrounded by descending spiral pathways. It then goes on to describe the third step, which is a lot of the analysis they've done based on all this data that they've collected. So they say the next phase involved analyzing the tomographic data to determine the full extent of the underground structures beneath the Giza Plateau. The tomographic images clearly reveal that the structures exist beneath the plateau extending below the pyramids of Kafre, Khufu, and Benkare for approximately this two kilometers below ground. So mind-blowing as all that is, there's still more to come. And this is just a little bit of the information that they have shared with us so far. So we can look forward to a lot more to come out fairly soon. And uh, I will keep you posted in the meantime. This is a, a look at some of the models and some of the data.